Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In today's class, let's study one of the most important topic for your physics and of course the most scoring and easiest topic which is quantum physics. So, in quantum physics, we'll be basically studying about subatomic particles and its relation with matter and waves. <music> Let's study first of all what is radiation. Now radiation is nothing but as transfer of energy or you can say it is emission of energy from the source to of course the destination. So in speaking terms the definition states out to be it is the emission of energy as electromagnetic waves. Now as you know in the prerequisites it's already expected that you know what an electromagnetic wave is. If you don't know let me explain you. Well electromagnetic wave is a wave in which electric field and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other. Well, this could be an important question for your viva. So, be prepared for it. So, an uh, electromagnetic wave is a wave in which the electric field is parallel to the magnetic field. Now, so, this radiation is the emission of energy. Now, the all story is hidden behind the word emission. Well, this emission could be done in the form of particle or packets and it could also be done in the form of waves. Now well this is what the crux of the story is a wave or a particle. Well this is called as the dual nature of radiation. So let's analyze this how it works. We'll take an example for a source of light. Now if I turn this source of light I can imagine there are certain particles or packets of energy which are traversing. Or I can say there are certain particles of energy which are transferred from the source to the of course destination. Now these small things as you can see they are called as packets. These are called as packets of energy. Well this is the particle nature of light. As you can see this is the particle nature of light. Now why light? Because light is of course one of the radiation. Is it applicable only for light? Of course, another viva question. No, it is not only applicable for light. It is applicable for all the electromagnetic spectrum, be it infrared, ultraviolet, far infrared, or even the X-rays and UV rays. Now, I'll take this source again, and this time I'll refer to the wave nature of light. If I turn this on, as you can see, the wavelets are being traversing. This indicates the wave nature of light. Now, as you can see, there are waves formed in this part and there are particle forms in the particle part. This is nothing but as the dual nature of radiation. Now, if the radiations have dual nature, as you can see, it is when at times it is showing wave nature and at times showing its particle nature, which is correct. Well, of course, both are correct, but at the same time, you will be using only one. Now, there have been certain studies in history which suggest that first light was considered only to be in the form of a wave, secondly it was considered to be only in the form of particle. Both of the scientists which concluded only one study failed. However, in the later half of the 19th century, the waves and the particle nature were studied together and finally led to a theory which now we will be studying in the upcoming slides. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more content, stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.